I'm going to the travel lodge so I can introduce I'll some people from the Queen City Chess Club and some players from the Canadian Youth Championship that is held here in Regina. Let's go. Yeah. You don't use the door, you open it like a Tom, the president of the Chess Club. Hi there. Uh, yeah, my name is Tom. I'm president of the Queen City Chess Club. Uh, and today we're holding the 2019 Canadian Youth Chess Championship. Uh, and uh, next week we'll be holding the 2019 Canadian Open Chess Championship. Um, by open, does it mean like anybody can play? Yes, and the next one it's uh, open. Anyone is allowed to play. Uh, and we get competitors from all over. How far did the competitors come from? For this tournament? Yes. Oof. All over. Um, every province. We've got BC, Alberta, Quebec, lots from Saskatchewan, Ontario. Uh, they, they come from everywhere. The Canadian Youth Chess Championships attract players from all over. Um, when did the Queen City Chess Club start? Well, it's an interesting question. There's always been something of a chess club in Regina. Um, going on for decades before I was around, but I, the Queen City Chess Club started uh, about four or five years ago when we took it over and built it up. Uh, when I started it was maybe four or five kids, uh, four or five people at a time. Uh, now we can get maybe 20 nights and we're holding events like these, so we've come a long way. How is the chess played in the tournaments? It's different than chess people play at home. How is it different in the tournaments? Yeah. If you walked in there, you would see the, uh, there's, imagine 200 children in one room. You could hear a pin drop. I'm not, that's not an exaggeration. It is deadly quiet and everybody is concentrating. Uh, I don't really have to concentrate because half of the time my brother's kind of yelling in my ears. So it's like, <laughs> I try to concentrate, but By I the just way, can't. It's also much stricter because there's no parents allowed in the room. Uh, there's no spectators. Kids aren't allowed to misbehave or eat or run around. Uh, it's very formal. So it's a totally different environment to the Skittles room over there, which is just lots of loud kids having fun. That's, that's the type of room I like. By the way, I crushed him in chess. He's beat me like two times. Has he? I defeated him like ten. Oh, we're going to see later. Well, there's some boards there you guys can find out. What is, the next, what is the next competition for the winners? The winners of the Canadian Youth Chess Championship will go on to play in international tournaments in Mumbai and China this year. Uh, the top player in each section, there's 12 sections by age and gender, will be sponsored and their families will be flown out there. The top three of each section will qualify. What brought these tournaments to Regina? Uh, it was quite a lot of work. We're a relatively small club. These huge chess events are usually held by really big chess clubs with hundreds of people. But we wanted to kind of push the bar forward and bring more people around Saskatchewan to play chess. So we worked really hard to get them here. What should people know about the Queen City Chess Club? The Queen City Chess Club is a public and free club. We host chess at the Riddell Center. University of Regina every Thursday from 7 to 9 p.m. We have members from all ages, from 8-year-olds to 80-year-olds, from novices to masters. Uh, if you want to join, feel free to show up. You can find more information on our website, uh, saskchess.org. How were we qualified to play in this tournament? In this tournament, they played uh, smaller tournaments which qualified them to get into this one. Every province has different qualifiers. You essentially have to beat uh, your peers, uh, or at least 50% of them, to qualify for this event. Hmm. Anything else you would like to add? Um, no, I think we covered most of it. Uh, would you guys like to see the Skittles room? Yes. Yes, I'm sure you would. Pretty much. <laughs> When did you start playing 
When? Um, I think when I was seven. Around seven years old. Yeah. Who did you start playing chess with? Uh, I saw my dad and my uncle playing chess, and I was interested. So then I asked them to teach me. What other hobbies do you have? What other hobbies? I like to play basketball. How many tournaments did it take you to qualify? How many tournaments did it take me to qualify? Uh, what do you mean? Oh, um, I guess my first try. Anything else you'd like to add? Uh, well, well, I'm just happy to be here, even though I didn't score too great. You know, it's always fun to come out and meet other chess players. And, yeah. Thanks for joining us today, man. Thank you for having me. I told you. Have you ever won the CYC Senior Tournament? Uh, yes, I have. I won it in 2015 and in 2017 and this year. When did you start playing tennis? Uh, I started playing when I was almost 10, so that's around 5-6 years ago. How many tournaments did it take you to qualify? Qualify for the CYCC? Yeah. Uh, I didn't need to qualify for the CYCC because I I had the rating requirement. They I think they take top ten uh, or top five. I'm not sure, but I had the rating, so I didn't need to play the tournament. Who did you start playing chess with? Um, I started playing with my great grandpa. What other hobbies do you have? I really like dance. Um, karate and music. Anything else you would like to add? Um, not really. Thanks for joining me today. No problem. So I hope you like your episode about the what? Canadian Youth Chess Championship. Also known as the CYCC. C. What? And I hope you buy your merch, subscribe, like this video. Tell and just say